All right, everyone. Children Bible Hour coming up. Um, hope all of you guys enjoy the show. Um, last Saturday was we back in 1991, and previous Saturday was 1991. So I'm guessing today it might be 1991 again. I have a feeling it's gonna be. And um, note that I did not own the rights to any of these. Uh, song, so, um, yeah, good thing, no, I'm there, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the show, and, um, we have some new Jimmy Christmas stuff out, so, be prepared for some videos, probably in the next month or so, October, November, uh, for that, yeah. Answers with Ken Ham, weekday afternoons at 5.15 Central Time on VCY America. Coming up next, a CBH classic broadcast first aired in 1991. I knew it. Hi, everybody. I it's time it. for another visit with all your friends from the Children's Bible Hour. Boys and girls for Jesus. Well, hi there. Come on in. We're glad you could join us, and we hope you'll be able to stick around for a while. I wish we had time to list all the countries into which this broadcast reaches, but since there are at least a hundred countries where we can be heard, it would just take too long. Some of you listen on the radio. Some of you listening live in countries where you have never, ever seen snow. You just don't know what you're missing. We usually have lots of it here in Michigan. Our story today is called The Growing Snowball. And whether you've ever seen snow or not, I think you'll enjoy it and learn from it as well. Have you ever had a misunderstanding with a friend because of some silly little thing? Well, that's what happens in our story today. First, though, we always want to have some bright music before we get to our story. And we always pick our music with the message in mind. And we often like to pick music that you can sing along with. That's true of today's opening songs by our cousin's choir. They start out with a song called Thy Loving Kindness. Sing along on the verses you know, okay? kids i like that here's one i'm sure most of you know the song is god is so good uh, just so you'll know ahead of time and be ready to sing along the cousins are singing god is so good then he is my friend 
and then he loves you too. That's great to know, isn't it? Get ready to join your voices with those of our choir. more from the cousins come story time in fact they'll be singing the cute little song i have this tongue right before the story so you be ready to blah, 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 along with them what do i mean well stick around and you'll find out hey let's get back to our music makers in a few minutes we're going to be hearing from carl and melissa our duetters as they have a good bible story and song but before we hear from carl and melissa we want to visit company corner and hear from carl's little brother Clint is only two years old, but just like his brother Carl and his sister Kristen, who also sings on CBH, Clint already loves to sing. Now, you might have to listen carefully to get all his words, but I think all our little listeners will enjoy hearing two-year-old Clint sing. It is one of the first songs many little ones learn, and it has a good message for young and old alike. Oh, be careful. Oh, be careful. So let's hear your Bible story and song all about a brave man named Daniel who didn't quit praying. in the 
With the words of that good song in mind, let's bow our heads and our hearts together and let's pray, okay? Lord Jesus, every day we're faced with the opportunity of standing up for what we believe and telling others about you, or we can hide our light. We can be ashamed of you. Oh, help us to be like Daniel. Help us to be willing to say no when we're tempted to do wrong. Help us to be willing to let others know that we love you and we're not ashamed to say so. Thanks for your love to us, Lord. Thanks for all you have done for us. Help us to want to live for you day by day. I pray just now for all our listening friends, and we thank you for this time together with them. In Jesus' name. One secret that Daniel learned, he was a thankful person, thankful in spite of difficulties. We need to learn that lesson too. There are so many troubled things going on all around us. Melissa, tell us more about being thankful in your cute song. Hey, Mark, we haven't heard from you yet, and it looks like you're all ready to sing for us. I like your song all about the wonderful world God made, even the snow, which we're going to hear about in our story in a few minutes. Listen. Now, just before our interesting story called The Growing Snowball, the cousins are going to sing the cute tongue song I mentioned earlier. So get your tongues all loosened up so you can blah, 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 along with them. Here we go.
Our story today, written especially for the Children's Bible Hour by Barbara Westberg, is entitled, The Growing Snowball. Uh, have you ever had a misunderstanding with a good friend? And have you let that misunderstanding go on until your friendship began to suffer? Heather and Allison were very good friends. But when they didn't talk about their misunderstandings, it hurt their friendship. It all started one day as Heather and her mom arrived at the grocery store. Look, Mom. Allison and her mother are over there at the other end of the parking lot. It looks like they've just finished grocery shopping. I think I'll go talk to her. All right, but don't be too long. I won't. I just want to tell her I have to go to school early on Monday. Allison! Allison! Allison Lewis! That's strange. I thought she looked right at me, but she just climbed in the car. And there they go. I still think she looked right at me. Seems like she would have heard me too, but she didn't even wave. She must be mad at me. I wonder why. I didn't do anything to her. Well, if that's the way she wants to be. And so Heather assumed that Allison was mad at her. <laughs> she was even more sure of it the next morning when she arrived at Sunday school. Although she was late because her dad's car had a flat tire, she expected to find an empty chair beside Allison. The two girls always saved seats for one another. On this day, however, she saw that the chairs on either side of Allison were taken, one by a new girl. So, Heather sat in a different place. Then, at the end of the Sunday school hour... Well, the time has gone by quickly today. Thanks for your participation. Class is dismissed. I wonder if Allison is going to explain why she didn't save a seat for me. She's looking this way. I think uh, she's Heather, coming. Uh, Heather, can I uh, talk to you for just a minute? Sure, Mr. Stone. Oh, well, there goes Allison out the door. I, uh, I need some help for the lesson next Sunday, Heather. Uh, here's what we're going to do if the weather will cooperate. Heather, time to get up. What time is it? Seven o'clock? What day is it? Oh, it's Monday. I can sleep another 30 minutes. No, you can't. Remember, you have to go in early this morning to make up a test. Now hurry if you want to catch a ride with your dad. Thanks for the ride, Dad. Oh, no. I forgot to call Allison and tell her I had to be at school early. I hope she doesn't wait for me. Oh, well, she probably won't wait considering how she acted Saturday at the grocery store and yesterday at church. She didn't even save me a seat. But Allison was planning to walk with Heather. In fact, she was already on her way to the corner where they usually met. As she walked along, another friend, Sarah, joined her. Allison, wait, I'll walk with you. Hi, Sarah, did you have a good weekend? Uh, so-so. How about you? Good and bad. The bad part was I lost one of my contacts Saturday morning while we were grocery shopping. Oh, no! I got something in my eye, and when I took my contact out, it popped into the onion bin. <laughs> Boy, did that ever cause a stir. My mother and the manager of the store took every onion out of that bin, but they never did find it. I can imagine how that looked. Onions here, onions there, onions, onions everywhere. Yeah, and I can't stand to wear just one contact like some people do, so I took the other one out too. Then I was blind as a bat. I wouldn't even recognize my own mother across the street without my contacts. What was the good part of your weekend? The good part is I got to the eye doctor and he could replace them right away, so I didn't have to go around blind all weekend. Well, this is the corner where I meet Heather. She should be here by this time. Well, she's not here, and she's not coming down the street either. How long do we have to wait? Not long. It's too cold. She usually tells me if she isn't going to be here. But come to think of it, 
I haven't talked to her all weekend. Purr, I'm freezing. Me too. Come on, it's too cold to just stand here. Let's go before we turn into icicles. Boy, it's nice to be in here where it's warm, even if we are in school. Look, Allison, there's Heather, going down the hall with Lynn. Oh, great. She could have at least called me and said she was walking with Lynn. She knows I wait for her. She's probably mad at me for not saving her a seat yesterday. But I couldn't help that. Mr. Stone told the new girl to sit next to me. Well, if that's the way she wants to be. The misunderstanding between Heather and Allison just grew and grew because neither girl would take the time to find out why the other girl had acted the way she did. Up and at him, sleepyhead. But mom, it's only seven. I don't have a test today. I know, but look outside, Heather. Oh no, it's snowing again. If you hurry, you can ride with your dad. I suppose I should call Allison and see if she wants a ride. That'd be fine, just hurry. Hello, Mrs. Lewis. Could I speak to Allison, please? She's not? Oh, I see. Thank you, goodbye. Allison spent the night with Sarah, and Sarah's mother is taking them to school. I guess Allison has just dropped me. The week passed slowly, and neither girl could forget the things that had upset them so. As their class gathered for Sunday school, Mr. Stone had a surprise announcement. Welcome to Sunday School, everyone. Hey, hey, before you get too comfortable, hold on, hold on. Put your coats and your mittens on. We're going to build a snowman. What? Today? <laughs> yep. A snowman? Why? Well, I'll tell you later. It's part of our lesson. Uh, Heather, did you bring the eyes, the nose, and the hat? Yes, sir. I even brought a scarf. Good. Now, I have some extra mittens and scarves here, but those of you who didn't bring boots can stand at the side and watch. Uh, boys, boys, listen, I want you guys to roll the bottom snowball, and girls, you can roll the middle one. I'll make the head. Come on, let's go outside. one the boys have made, all right? Come on, oh, lift it. Oh, oh, it's oh, too heavy. Oh, heavy? Oh. Heavy? Hey, everyone knows snow is fluffy and light, not heavy. This snowball is oh. heavy. <laughs> See if you can lift it. I was just teasing. I know I can't lift it either. Uh, boys, come on, give us a hand, okay? okay all together now, let's lift this snowball and get everything in place. All right, then we'll go back to the classroom. All right, class, let me have your attention, please. Quiet down, quiet down. Ah, everyone is warm again, so let's get to our lesson. I want to talk about the power of little things. You just learned that although a snowflake is a tiny thing, when it's joined with many others and pressed into a snowball, it can become a great, big, heavy thing. Um, who can think of another little thing that is mighty? Um, Carl. A match. One little match can set a whole forest on fire. Right, Carl. Uh, James 3, 5 tells us about that, and it also mentions another little but powerful thing. Uh, here, let's look at that verse. Um, Allison, you please read it for us. That's James 3, verse 5. Okay, it says, Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindles. Thank you, Allison. Always remember that gossip and misunderstandings can be like fires or like snowballs. They start little, but they often grow and grow. A misunderstanding can get very, very heavy, and it can destroy friendships. 
Once a misunderstanding starts to snowball, well, it can quickly get out of here. Well, there's the bell. I trust you'll be careful about the things you say and listen carefully to what others say so you don't misunderstand. Let's close with prayer, all right? Father, we come to you at the end of this Sunday school. You go ahead, Heather. No, you go first, Allison. Well, I don't know. I mean, I... Well, why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I thought you were mad at me. Last Saturday at the grocery store, I called to you. But you ignored me. You just got in the car and left. Last Saturday? At the grocery store? Oh, I know what happened. I didn't see you. I lost one of my contacts in the onion bin. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was practically blind till I got to the eye doctor and got a replacement. But why didn't you save me a seat the next morning? Because Mr. Stone asked me to let a new girl, Susan, sit there. Oh, why didn't you tell me that? I was going to tell you after class, but you were talking to Mr. Stone. But why didn't you meet me at the corner Monday morning? Because I had to make up a test. And I forgot to call you until I got to school. Then it was too late. Oh, Allison, I've been so miserable all week. I just knew you were mad at me, and I didn't know why. It's just like Mr. Stone said. Once a misunderstanding starts to snowball, it just gets bigger and bigger. Let's not let this happen again, Allison. Okay, let's always talk things over right away. If you appreciate these classic programs, we'd love to hear from you knowing that you are standing with us in prayer and support. Our U.S. address, CBH Ministries, P.O. Box 1001, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49501. P.O. Box 1001, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49501. For our friends in Canada, you can send your gift to CBH Ministries, P.O. Box 124, Maple Ridge, B.C., V2X 7E9. Oh, we're also glad to partner with HisKids.net. These classic CBH programs are a production of CBH Ministries, supported by caring listeners like you. Goodbye. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.